I'm Dr. Eileen Glisson, Distinguished University Professor and Professor Emeritus from IUP. I retired in 2019 after having served as coordinator of the Spanish Education K-12 program in the Department of Foreign Languages at IUP for 33 years. Hi there, I'm Deborah Fazer McMahon and I am Dean of the School of Humanities at Seton Hill University as well as Professor of Spanish. Good evening, Dr. Driscoll, Chancellor Greenstein and Provost Moreland. My name is Mark Petrarca and this is my 30th year as a Spanish and German teacher at the Altoona Area High School. Good evening, my name is Shelby Ledger and I graduated from Indiana University of Pennsylvania in 2015 with a dual baccalaureate degree of a Bachelor of Science in Spanish Ed K through 12 and a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish. I also pursued a double minor in French and Latin American studies. Hi, my name is Miriam Gao. I'm the president of the French Cultural Center of Pittsburgh and also part of the Western PA chapter of the American Association of Teachers of French. Hi, my name is Ryan Caldwell. I am currently the Spanish teacher at Manessa City School District, and I graduated from IUP in 2019 with the BSED in Spanish Education, as well as the BA in Spanish. My name is Raquel Lamel, and I'm a Spanish teacher in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania, and I graduated IUP in 2014 with my bachelor's in Spanish. Good morning. My name is Stephanie Grace, and I'm a 2006 graduate of um, the French education program at IUP, and I've been teaching French at Greensburg Salem ever since. Greetings, gentlemen. My name is Daniel Murphy. I'm a Spanish teacher at Indian Area Senior High School. I was graduated from IUP in 1991 at the Bachelor's of Science in Secondary Spanish Education. Hello, my name is Jocelyn DiBiase Hess. IUP conferred on me a Bachelor of Science in Education, January 1971. My major was French. I am a retired teacher who had the joy of teaching young people French for over 30 years. Hi, my name is Heather and I was an International Studies and Spanish major with a minor in Latin American Studies at IUP and I graduated in 2016. Hi, my name is Jim Dykin, and I'm a 2009 graduate of the French Education Program at IUP. I'm coming to you from my classroom at Indiana Area Senior High School, where I'm the French teacher. Hello, my name is Sherry Garrett. I am currently a Spanish teacher at Dallastown Area High School and also the World Language Department Chair. Uh, good morning, Dr. Driscoll. Provost Moreland and Chancellor uh, Greenstein. My name is Cephas Moore and I'm in my 20th year of teaching at Upper St. Clair High School, um, south of Pittsburgh. Bonjour, Chancellor Greenstein, Provost Moreland and Dr. Driscoll. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce that very well. My name is Benedict Barla. I am the director of the French Cultural Center in Pittsburgh, and I am also a teacher in an online public school for many years. Hi, my name is Melina Fuchs, and I received my bachelor's degree in Spanish from IUP in 2016. I work as a facilities operations coordinator for CBRE, which is one of the largest facility management companies in the world. Hi, I'm Louise Wilson. I teach Spanish, French, and English as a second language, but currently at the Spring Cove School District in Blair County where I teach, I'm only teaching Spanish and English as a second language because my French program has already been cut several years back. My name is Amy Opplinger and I graduated from Indiana University of Pennsylvania in 2015 with a Bachelor of Science in Spanish Education. I'm currently a Spanish teacher at Marion Center Area School District. Hi. My name is Rebecca Mayer and I will be graduating in May 2021 with a minor in French. I also studied abroad in France with Dr. Charles McCurry in the summer of 2018. Chancellor Greenstein, Dr. Driscoll, Provost Moreland. As a French and Spanish teacher for 20 years at South Fayette Middle School, whose retirement was just announced at tonight's board meeting, I'm completely chagrined at your plan to further marginalize the World Language Department. If anything, the DFL should be enlarged, not diminished. 
world languages are a major conduit for students to understand their world from multiple perspectives. The DFL is indispensable in forming the core of general education, which in our present times needs to acknowledge a world-centric culture of education. The Department of Foreign Languages at IUP <clears throat> has earned a national reputation of being a leader in foreign language teacher preparation, most recently in the preparation of Spanish teachers. School districts, not only in Pennsylvania, but throughout the country, continue to seek out IUP graduates who meet the highest of standards in their preparation to teach Spanish in K-12 settings. At a time when our state and country are facing a severe teacher shortage, the role of the Department of Foreign Languages at IUP is more critical than ever. Let me say this, gentlemen. Yes, I recognize we're going through hard times. We were going through hard times in the 1980s as well, but we still had a richness of programs in the arts, humanities, and in languages. I'm a product of those programs. I've always wanted to be of service to humanity, and I have been because of IUP. I learned of the Strong Foreign Language Program at IUP, which prompted me to visit their campus, even though I'm a true Marylander at heart. The diversity of the foreign language department and warm demeanor of its professors made IUP an easy choice for me. Because of my love for studying Spanish and French, I had the opportunity to work with all staff members of the foreign language department at IUP. It breaks my heart to hear of the restructuring plans that could reduce staffing and courses available to students pursuing studies of foreign languages. We need to stop doing this. We need to educate our children and we need to make them available, are, are ready to be global leaders someday. We need everybody in third world countries can speak two and three languages by the time they're 18. Even in Europe, almost everybody is bilingual. We need to make people more bilingual. We need to stop cutting programs that teach foreign languages. We need to increase the number of languages that are taught. The world is getting smaller and smaller and the demand for languages is greater and greater every day. We cannot keep cutting programs like this. Um, the Spanish program at IUP is really what drew me to the university and I came all the way from New Jersey. And I really just wanted to say a few words about how much I have appreciated um, IUP's foreign language program over the years. Um, I've had amazing collaborations with the faculty in that program and also with graduate students. We actually at my institution have hired students coming out of English um, as well as out of uh, foreign languages. And I think one of the things I've been most inspired by is just the focus that they've had on developing oral proficiency and really aligning with ACTFL's standards. I wanted to let you know that I am very, very disappointed to hear that you are looking at restructuring the College of Humanities. I received an excellent education at IUP and I have since sent many students to IUP mainly because of your world language program. In fact, many of them have gone on to become world language teachers and your program is stellar. And it would be so sad to lose that program because thousands of students have been impacted, not only my students, but also students that were impacted by those of my students who now became teachers. So during my time at IUP, the professors that I work with effectively helped me to develop my Spanish skills and become a better language teaching professional. If it weren't for the devoted, diverse, and knowledgeable faculty professors in the humanities, as well as, as the World Language Department in particular, I would have never even thought of coming to IUP. It would be a shame if the restructuring under consideration would have negative consequences on IUP's Spring Methodology Conference. This conference was of great service to me and consequently to my students. It remains and was an opportunity to strengthen our teaching skills and techniques, uh, to make connections with other educators, to collaborate on various student needs and approaches to learning. There are a number of reasons why I feel the foreign language department at IUP is both unique and important. Number one, you've you know, you've um, created a number of stellar foreign language teachers in our area over the past several decades. And this certainly, in my mind, is a reflection of the quality and hard work of your foreign language faculty. 
Thirdly, um, your foreign language department has promoted excellence in foreign language instruction by hosting fir first rate annual spring conferences um, for foreign language teachers all over Southern or South Central PA for the past 42 years. Organizing these conferences involves a lot of time and effort outside the normal instructional day. I personally attended six of these over the past three decades, and I found them to be motivating and worthwhile. I am familiar with uh, uh, Indiana University of Pennsylvania's Department of, of Language because many of my colleagues um, who are stellar foreign language teachers and have had phenomenal careers such as Deanna Baird and uh, Nancy Kirshner graduated from your institution. And so that's the, the local influence that I've had. I've also had the, um, the good fortune of attending for many years the, the spring uh, methodology conference that takes place at Indiana University organized by the foreign language department there. And I have found that to be very helpful as an instructor in the beginning of my career to learn uh, the latest methods and, and currently now to kind of refresh uh, what I'm doing in the classroom. So that would be uh, very sad if, if that was um, something that I could not attend. It is becoming more and more difficult to attend conferences that are far away, so it's nice to have something local uh, with teachers with whom you can connect here locally that are, that are organizing that. Um, two minutes really isn't even enough to explain how beneficial and how important IUP has been in my life, um, both on a professional, professional level and a personal level as well. I left my little hometown hoping to start a, a college career. Little did I know that I was going to change the rest of my life. Um, my professors in the French and um, education departments were more than helpful and they helped provide me opportunities, not only in the classroom and in, and in Indiana, um, but also provided me opportunities to study abroad. And through those um, opportunities, living abroad, um, I really, I think I opened up and I became more open-minded, more adventurous, more well-rounded. Things right now that especially in our society, we need more than ever. When I obtained my Master of Arts in teaching at Pitt, I felt prepared because I was familiar with foreign language pedagogy. This year, I have a student teacher and her professor is excited to work with me because I've attended IUP and she uses materials produced by IUP foreign language professors to educate her own students with the best foreign language practices. I first moved to Indiana, PA in 2004 as a freshman at IUP. And while I had no intention on staying after graduation, here I am 16 years later, still in Indiana as part of the community. And the reason that I've chosen to stay, even though I was a little intimidated by the slow life and culture of rural Pennsylvania coming from the city of Pittsburgh, um, I have grown to love this community for all it has to offer. And the people are the main reason why I've chosen to stay and have a family and live here for the rest of my career and, and my life. Growing up in Eastern Pennsylvania, I had never heard of IUP and had no intention of going there to pursue a degree until my high school Spanish teacher, an IUP grad herself, urged me to visit campus during the fall of my senior year. That visit forever changed my path. I fell in love with the campus, the community, and most importantly, the Spanish department. On that visit, I was able to meet a few of the Spanish professors from whom I would learn so much about language, culture, and how to be a professional. Those professors took time out of their day to speak with a prospective student, and that type of attention and care continued for the next four years. The education and experiences provided to me by the professors in the IUDP, IUP Department of Foreign Languages were challenging, rewarding, and rigorous. I graduated in 2015 feeling incredibly prepared as a foreign language education professional. In light of the news regarding the cuts in restructuring, I felt compelled to reach out and voice my concerns directly to the Chancellor, the President, and the Provost. The College of Humanities and Social Sciences particularly Department of Foreign Languages, was the root of my success. It laid the framework that led me to complete my master's at NYU and hold positions at well-known companies today. Because today I just had a student tell me that he was going to attend IUP, and I was so excited for him. However, I hated to inform him to about the language program that could possibly be cut because the main reason he was going to IUP is because I recommended him because of the great world language department. This student is currently taking advanced placement, Spanish language and culture. He is one of my top notch students. And this is just one example of the many students that I have sent to IUP. The world language program at IUP has changed many lives. 
And it was as a result of this trip that I solidified my fascination with language, which has led to me completing my minor and also conducting language related research within the psychology department at IUP. I'm also in the process of applying to graduate school to continue pursuing my language interests. It is because of the individualized attention and support that I got from my French professors that I was able to study abroad at all, let alone complete my minor and improve my foreign language skills. I owe much of my academic career at IUP to the foreign language department for what they have allowed me to learn about myself and about my interests. Doctors McCreary and Dossier are passionate about their job as professors and work hard to improve language learning in students and give them a broader worldview through learning about different cultures. Today I am employed with Anne Arundel County Public Schools in Maryland. In the county, I've worked at three schools, each varying ge geographically and demographically. IUP prepared me to work at all three locations. In my fifth year as a teacher, I accepted a department chair position at one of the best schools in the state, Broadneck High School. IUP prepared me well for this leadership position, and I'm blessed to work with a variety of teachers in my school and county to promote modern pedagogy and the importance of student-centered classrooms. Over the summers, I write curriculum for our county and travel abroad with students from multiple schools. The foreign language professors at IUP motivated me to pursue a career that would let my personality shine. I love what I do today because of the confidence I built with IUP's program. That's the same confidence that I project on my students today. If restructuring plans affect staffing of IUP's foreign language department in any way, I urge stakeholders to reconsider. In short, they know the state of the art in teaching languages. They are leaders in professional organizations and projects at local, state, and national levels. Further, they collaborate with K-12 language teachers as they work together to advocate for and strengthen programs at K-16 levels of instruction. Eliminating faculty positions will severely handicap the department in terms of maintaining the Spanish education program and producing teachers of the highest quality. This move will not only affect the department and university students, but also language programs at K-12 levels and future generations of potential teacher candidates. And so I would just say as a region, you know, Pennsylvania desperately needs these skills. Like every day I get numerous emails talking about open positions for modern language teachers. And those are jobs in French, those are jobs in Spanish, those are jobs in Mandarin, those are jobs in a whole range of languages. And so, you know, the jobs are absolutely there. And um, I would really encourage IUP to support the language systems that we have in place, to support faculty and staff in this area, and to think about ways, you know, that we can contribute to this important uh, strategic national priority. We've always looked to IUP for graduates, for professional staff, to help us keep French alive and strongly represented in middle and high school programs. The diminishment of DFL faculty endangers all of world language teaching statewide, not just for me, but for every teacher in the future. Will IUP become just one more place where world languages used to be indispensable? It would be very detrimental for our region not to have them. We collaborated so many times with them and they have been always willing to help us. Uh, it's a great department and I would be very, very sorry to see that this department doesn't exist anymore or is really significantly cut. World languages and language teaching are so important for our country, especially in its current state. If the humanities and the world language department in particular are weakened, this will put IUP at an immense disadvantage to universities who do not choose to make these mistakes. As a result, students will flock elsewhere and IUP will lose its positive reputation and appeal to perspe prospective students who come here looking to find themselves and become more well-rounded citizens in today's diverse world. I want to think about a little bit how this newly designed IUP, this newly reimagined IUP, as innovative as it sounds, may actually be somewhat exclusionary to many people and how I would have fit into that system as the son of blue collar workers in Western Pennsylvania who would not have been afforded other opportunities to follow my dreams and to study French language and culture had it not been for a place like IUP. And I hope that the leadership in the state system will look at people like me as a success story 
And one of the reasons, just one of the many, many, many reasons why the program and the department at IUP is so strong and deserves to be saved and why it plays such an important role in our community and in our state. Chancellor Greenstein, Dr. Driscoll, and Provost Moreland, I have students who leave my classroom and enter yours. The current restructuring plans could weaken IUP and its reputation throughout Western Pennsylvania and the rest of the country. I want my students to be able to experience the excellence of the IUP foreign language program just like I did. Please don't deny them this unique opportunity that is available to them so close to home. Um. So Chancellor Greenstein, Dr. Driscoll, and Provost Moreland, these restructuring plans are not the solution. This will only weaken IUP's reputation, which up until this point had been a really great one. The reaction to lower enrollment should be addressing the cause and your reaction of restructuring um, is really short-sighted. The ripple effects of your plan on the professors, the community, and down the line, the university itself will really be irreversible if you go through with this decision. So I really hope that you, Chancellor Greenstein, Dr. Driscoll, and Provost Moreland, reconsider your thoughts of restructuring the World Language Program and the College of Humanities. I understand this is a trying time, but please consider all options before making this decision. I encourage the Chancellor, President, and Provost to set your goals higher as you discuss the details of next gen. It is for these reasons that I appeal to the Chancellor, the President, and the Provost to please save the Foreign Language Department and the French program at IUP. This plan is short-sighted and has far-reaching negative consequences on students, professors, the community, and IUP's reputation as a whole. Dr. Driscoll, Chancellor Greenstein and Provost Moreland. Future students deserve the incredible IUP education I received, and this new plan simply does not afford for that. In today's global society, one cannot deny the importance of knowing and being able to communicate in another language. It is a skill that is needed in every career, and particularly in the STEM fields, healthcare, and business worlds to which your focus is shifting. Therefore, it is essential that IUP's Department of Foreign Languages remains completely intact and become even stronger in the coming years. It plays such an important role in our community and in our state, and I urge you and I implore you to reconsider because IUP's Foreign Language Department has so much to offer and the faculty is so personable. I have many faculty members' phone numbers right here in my phone and they're just a phone call away at any time. And that's what makes a community worth staying in. Thank you, please reconsider, I appreciate your time. If restructuring plans affect staffing of IUP's Foreign Language Department in any way, I urge stakeholders to reconsider. The remarkable instruction taking place by the foreign language professors at IUP proves that their department should continue thriving and building rather than not receiving the support that they deserve. Dr. Driscoll, Professor and Provost Moreland, and Chancellor Greenstein, I urge you to reconsider this decision in light of the far-reaching impact it will have way beyond the doors of IUP and the state system of higher education. Thank you.